So Brian, what car are you least excited for at SEMA? Uh, any E36. Which favorite, which truck is your favorite, Brian? None. Let, let's say that you were the one that forced drifts. to drive one of these for a year, which one would it be? Whichever one I could get into, pretty easy. Could How do you up. load tires in the back of these? You like the wheels, Tommy? Yeah, they will offset of negative 85. Negative 85 wheels. I love that, like it's really nice. Super good wheel. And I like that he put like the dual headlights in. That's also sick. Like I like this thing a lot on the YouTube series. Like they had a big block uh, gifted to them. It's basically like a crate engine, put a huge supercharger on it, made a dunk. And this is one of those things like I never thought I would like them because I didn't really understand what it was all about. But even with these skinny tires, they were going down the drag strip pretty fast. So I kind of like that, like it's a whole subculture and it's kind of cool, I like it. Maybe not something I would do, but I really I really respect that they put a lot of power in these things and that, that thing looks like it's twin turbo, it's just a big supercharger on it, it's pretty cool. So there's a Hoonigan Rolls Royce with a Hellcat motor, which is of course really sick. Um, nice like tube frame but like my my only reservation with these motors is they're so wide look at how wide that thing is like cylinder head to cylinder head like how would you ever fit in something that's not a tube frame like it's, it's a massive motor but I think it's it's pretty cool it's a cool project um, super nice but that kind of disqualifies the Hellcat motor for me for all kinds of things gauge work looks decent Rear end. I don't even know where that's from. <laughs> that rear end. And they may even sit right seat with some folks on the Falcon Tire Road Course Time Trial on Sunday. We're on the big track at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. That's the final segment of five in the Optimal Ultimate Street Car Invitational. These are all street legal. At least 200 treadwear tires. They're all titled, licensed. They all have functioning headlights, taillights, turn signals, horns. You name it. If they want to win the Optimal Ultimate Street Car Invitation, they stay to the side and allow these GT cars to get parked back in their spots safely and efficiently. Give them plenty of room, please. So in just a few minutes, we'll be getting these guys ready and getting rolling on the next team. The trucks are always a real well, I like how they watch. have the you don't expect to see classic theme, as fast as like a GM, twin bubble stuff. There are multiple charge trucks cooler over there. Going out here shortly with turbo power, supercharger power. We've got a lightning out here about to run with supercharger sick. and nitrous. And he'll be purging the nitrous on the line. So it is going to be a lot of fun to watch these guys go. They definitely put on a show and they're going for it. And Rob and Rick, but all of these vehicles will compete for class cups at the OUSCI tomorrow. But they may move up or down the standings within their classes, but the overall, it's just the one that gets it. So we'll talk about it. This is really nice. Um, Buick Skylark 72 original paint car. Not painted. Really cool car. Love this a lot. A lot. 
pokes the tires. Yeah, I really would have expected that. It's my friend. How are you doing? <laughs> what's up, buddy? Hey, good to, good to oh, am I being videos? Hey, you're what's video. up, dude? You're always very popular oh. on the videos. Yeah. Mr. <laughs> Farouk. What's up? It's going to be televised, it's going to get these people's products in front of millions of viewers, like that. Yeah. You can run it with a single, a dual, a triple. Uh, it's... Activities. A lot of rubber out there. Reunited with David, the big Ford guy. Big Ford guy. He's been running uh, the Mustangs here for um, for Ford, doing uh, ride-alongs with people. Real great seeing him again after Drift Week. from Florida, Ben Hobson, um, brought his uh, Magnuson supercharged car.
super rad thing. Of course, Y7 front back. We got Rome, Y7 on the car, of course. Swords and family. Um, and they're doing a little, a little show over here. Back grandstands, and uh, it looks like they're not really holding back out here. Big announcements. Formula 3. 